teamwork perhaps is one of the core elements when we're talking about building cohesive teams or working towards a greater good. And in today's conversation, we're reevaluating the concept of competitiveness and teamwork. And in today's motion, in the junior finals, we have the motion that reads, competition is superior to cooperation in achieving excellence. With us today, we have St. Bakita Chicago Girls versus Nova Boys. And the motion again reads, competition is superior to cooperation in achieving excellence. First speaker, team proposition, you have three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is Alexa Shali from St. Bakita Girls High School in proposition of the motion that competition is superior to cooperation in achieving of excellence. So in every institution, there's always an emphasis on cooperation. Cooperation this, cooperation that. But what, it is, what is it that is so good about this cooperation? Because I simply do not see it. So, first of all, the most important part, what do we understand by the terms competition and cooperation? Competition is a condition where two parties, two or more parties, exist in an attempt to outdo each other in the achievement of a common goal, whereas cooperation is where now these parties work with one another to achieve the same goal. And so when we say that competition is superior to cooperation, we simply suggest that when parties work in trying to outdo one another to achieve the same goal, they are better off than when they work with one another. So I'm in support of this motion today, basing on the fact that just like the relation between smoke and fire, you know, where there's, where there's smoke, there's fire, um, where there is cooperation, there is definitely exploitation of the hardworking ones in society. And who are these, quite frankly? There are those who tend to do more in tasks, where co in, in tasks where cooperation is demanded. Take a look at the typical school system where duties are allocated to students, some of which are cooperative tasks while others are competitive ones. Um, statistics from a research done in our very own school, St. Bakita, have shown that when tasks are allocated to students in various groups to be done in cooperation, there tends to be exploitation of the weaker ones in, so in society, that is, those who cannot stand up for themselves, such that they tend to do more work and in, in the end of it all, there is less work done by the group at large. And even if it is all done, it is, it is done um, poorly. However, in the case where uh, um, teams do it in competition, each group um, has more of a work input, and evidently, there is more of a work, work output, and therefore, more work is done, and it's done properly. And so, what, what, where, why, why is this established? Because they're trying to each outdo one another. So yes, indeed, cooperation does bring about exploitation of others in the highest order. In fact, my perfect example here would be Tanzania, which for a very long time existed in the Ujamaa policy where they were working with one another. Take a look at what that did to the political and economic stability of Tanzania. It's simply hanging by a loose thread up to date. Tanzania is in fact one of the poorest countries in Africa as we speak. And so I simply believe that it is now very clear that competition is superior to cooperation in the achievement of excellence. Thank you. First speaker for team opposition, you have three minutes. Once a team outgrows individual performance and confidence and learns team confidence, then and only then will excellence become a reality. I am Conrad Wambua of Nova Pioneer Tattoo Boys to strongly oppose this motion before us that states that, con that competition is in fact more superior. First and foremost, let me put you in the scope that we have discussed this in. First of all, Excellence is simply the quality of being outstanding and extremely good, such as all the outstanding debaters that pulled up today and yesterday, outstanding hosts, outstanding judges, and the like. Now, first and foremost, cooperation is in fact the ability to work effectively and respectively with diverse people. Cooperation is also categorized by the, the sense that we make compromises with that diverse people we make not just compromises, we build consensus in decision making to achieve that certain goal. My first point is very simple and should be very clear. Cooperation is often necessary for achieving excellence in complex tasks that require input of multiple individuals with diverse skill sets. Now my question 
is how are these diverse skill sets gained? They are gained simply by the diversification of perspectives and ideologies. Your ideology from Nova, your ideology from Alliance, your ideology from Loreto, all to gain one, all for one goal. Now, a notable example of cooperation is very simple. We have come from a time where COVID-19 was a killer threat, but Pfizer and BioNTech in March 2020 came to agreement where they both developed a COVID-19 vaccine that has in fact helped all of us in this room to deal with a, an epidemic that once in our lifetime scared us. Now, such a, cooperat such a cooperation has in fact saved many lives. Apart from that, these innovative and creative solutions from these diverse people and backgrounds are the key to achieving quality and being outstanding or extremely good. And let me remind you that when competition, when competition becomes stiff, many competing parties decide to cooperate in order to trump or beat those higher than them. Other examples of such corporations in of such corporations within competition are Uber and Spotify, or for those football fans, Spotify and Barcelona, yeah? BMW and Louis Vuitton, and BMW being a car, a car producing company and Louis Vuitton being a cloth industry, they in fact promote each other to achieve that said excellence, which again, I repeat, is the quality of being outstanding or extremely good in a said field. Thank you very much. Second speaker, team proposition. You have three minutes. Competition is superior to cooperation in achieving excellence. Once again, it is I, respectfully from the conspicuous Chicago girls in proposition of this motion. But firstly, with great concern, I would like to thank the first proposer on the, on the, on the points that you've said that with cooperation, we will have diverse skill sets, which, will, which I must say brings up to my point. So with competition being superior to cooperation in achieving ex excellence, I simply mean that the attitude of not, I'm not gonna look back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do better, I can't afford distraction, is much better than the if she wins, we all win attitude. Cooperation brings about cooperative schemes, and as it is very known, we are all different, and we have different views and different perspectives. So as we tend to listen, as we tend to practice all our ideological differences, then it will probably lead to conflicts because each and every one of us will tend to do what they think is right and what is good. And in better words, although cooperation is a unifying factor, it is majorly a, disu a disuniting factor. On to my second point. As per situation in a logical perspective, it is very much normal that almost everyone in particular has this has the desire to pursue excellence in everything that they tend to do. For instance, in an awarding ceremony, where an individual gets awarded individually, another individual will get awarded in, um, inclusively in a group. When recognition is partaken, the individual will have, has higher levels of satisfaction of his or her hard work. Whereas in cooperation where most arguments will be based on who brought up the main success in the group, who desires this, who desires that. And in this, unity will not be a word to be familiarized in this situation. I know someone might be asking themselves within these few minutes that I have been talking, what am I really trying to bring about? What I am trying to say is that cooperation brings about lack of final brings about lack of pride in final product and besides although i am partially blind i can still see that we are in a competition we are trying to achieve excellence we are trying to get who is going to be the winner and who is going to be the loser so why can't you just believe it that competition is superior to cooperation in achieving excellence Thank you.
Thank you so much, second speaker, team opposition, you have three minutes. Your first point, you're talking about how cooperation can be toxic and how certain people can be, uh, how certain people can be misused. Now, let me explain something to you. There are two sides to every coin. We do not deny the fact that people can be exploited through cooperation. But let me ask you a question. Which do you think is a more toxic environment? A place where somebody might be forced to work more than one another, or a place where you are directly pitted against your co-worker to do better than them. You are directly, you are made to make them feel inferior to you. Like the point of a competition is for you to be superior, not for the entire team to grow. It is single-minded mentality. Actually, let me, let me talk about something. This, this might be string a bit, but please, this is something I'm very passionate in. You see, things like competition are very short term. And cooperation is a long term, is something that's quite long term. Because during competition, once you are finished with the competition, that's it. You've barely grown. You've just done it. That's it. But cooperation brings us further because now you've grown as a person, you've grown as a team, you can do better. This is the type of mentality that's holding us back as Africans. And I know most of you do not want to hear it, but it's true. Africans are being held back by the short-term mentality. Now back to my point because I believe I was trained slightly. Now, what were you talking about? Tanzania. Tanzania, the Ujama fell because of poor fund management not because of cooperation. In fact, one of the first Ujama villages, before they started fumbling the funds, was so successful. Actually, I remember in history class watching a video about this. So I'm in fact humored by your attempt to make this an example. So one of, the, one of these first villages was so successful that not only did they get a whole boat, these people are in, like, in the least offensive sense, peasants. And they were able to manage to afford a boat, a whole boat, not, not just a dinghy, a boat, an actual boat. Now, let's move on to your second speaker. You, you seem not to understand the definition of anything because you, you seem to be comparing hardworkingness to competition. You say, you're saying, I'm going to move forward and I'm not going to look back. That's not competition. Competition is pinning two sides against each other to see which one is better. What you're saying is hardworkingness. And you're also trying to diminish cooperation into group mentality of which, oh, if I win, everybody wins. That's not cooperation. Cooperation is bringing your others up. Cooperation is helping each other grow. What you guys want is for an individual to grow and the rest to feel bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. And team proposition have been asked the question of can competition exist without cooperation? And team opposition have been tasked to validate the Ujama village in particular that they're referring to, and particularly the source of that fact. <laughs> team proposition, third speaker, you have three minutes. I've had a question, a question asking, can really competition exist without cooperation? Don't worry, I'm here to answer it. Again, Caroline Mackey from the Bakita School. So, I'll give you an example. Let us say, this, uh, you say it has a uh, cooperation. Give, for instance, a music festival. You are doing a solo poem. Are you cooperating with anyone? Aren't you competing with others? You've just asked if it can manage on its own. I believe it can. To my opponents, <laughs> Wow, I'm just utterly speechless. A boat, a boat defining richness. A boat can be made, handmade. A boat defining richness. This just shows how poor it is. Also, hmm, you said about diverse skills. I want to tell you that diverse skills also can bring out time wastage. If I have my idea, you have your idea, she has their own idea, by the time we come to an agreement, by the time we even start putting this idea into practice, we have wasted our time. Precious time that can never be recovered. You said that there was cooperation in COVID-19. Well, let me tell you something. Well. 
that just explains what she was saying. That in cooperation, these, exploit, these people who exploit others, because as others who are cooperating, people, other countries who are exploiting money, I base my fact on Kenya, who had looted 7.6 billion. This was from the standard media. My facts are based from standard media. So, to my points, firstly, competition brings about, um, creates a drive to achieve. Because I give my argument based on historical text. When the first car was made, the aim was I am going to make a moving car. But when other people saw, like Henry Ford saw a moving thing, I can make my own. Made. I, I can make my own, which is better. So he, he had the drive and he even achieved more by creating an even more modified car, which was the first Ford. This brings me to my second point of variety of goods because you can't tell me that there's only one car and that brings me to where you are saying, I don't know, the BMW and uh, Louise Vuitton. It's a product of competition because as a, when... When I made my own, and then the other, so I can make a better one, and the better one, you had variety. Com you had BMW, you had Subaru, you had Tesla, name them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Team Proposition. Third speaker, Team Opposition, you have three minutes. A single leaf working alone provides no shade. My name is Michael Muhando from Nova Pioneer Tattoo Boys, and I'm here to oppose the motion that has been laid on the table today. So I'll, start, I'll first start with some um, rebuttals. So you came here talking about diverse skills bringing waste, um, wastage of time. So are you, willing, are you willing to take a short time to come up with pathetic ideas that will not even help you, that will not even benefit you? Or are you willing to come together, take some time with other people to come up with good ideas that will, bre that will build you and bridge the problem that you have in a better way? And on to my question, they asked, me to validate um, the village. I'm sorry, but um, it was just a, a fallacy that she stated, and uh, I do not have the name of the village, and it's not applicable in this debate. Um, on to my points. So, cooperation, as a matter of fact, uh, leads to long-term effects. Long-term effects that really help these people, that really help these people come up with better solutions that can last a long time a longer um, period as opposed to the to the to the competition that brings a short term uh, effects why do i say this if you look at eop and all mutual um two insurance companies they were not doing as really well when it came to the insurance sector but when they merged they in the recent competitions um, on insurance they were uh, they awarded position 5 best um insurance with profits over um 200 million kenyan shillings I can also give another example of NIC and CBA banks that, mer that merged to form NCBA. And from that, they are able to form 314 billion worth of profits. Then you come here and talk about um, cooperation bringing no good to the society. That's not right. Then another point is that competing, competing individuals are likely to engage in an, ethic an ethical and cutthroat behavior in order to come up with success. Why is this so? People competing will, will, will do very bad things such to the extent of killing each other in order for them to be able to come up with a win or come up with success in their, in their competing fields. This is not good and it's not, um, it's not really, it's not good and it does not help the society because it diminishes um, what this success is about. We also see in industries where safety concerns, safety concerns, e.g. healthcare and aviation, it's need, cooperation is needed so that, the, so that uh, we ensure safety of patients and, and passengers and others. And if we compete, we risk and we jeopardize the safety of these um, passengers and, and patients. Let's say um, you're in an airplane and the pilots, the pilots are really competing. As you say, they're competing on who's a better pilot or how to fly the, the aircraft. You lead to crash, you'll crash the plane. If you work together on the cockpit, if you work together in the in the in the hospitals, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to cement the safety of these patients. Thank you.
Team Proposition, you have one minute to make your final remark. So again, it's I, Caroline Moki, representing the Great Bakita. So you're actually talking about uh, pilots being in a competition, hence crashing. Don't you think if they are cooperating, they will actually be like, I am the one who did most of our achievement in this organization. Why can't I have my own pride? I need it. I will have my own pride. Isn't that even bringing about the conflict? Anywho, talking about the position five the, of the cooperations. So who was the position one? Who was the position one? Anyway, I want to back up my team with one point of cooperation brings low prices because we are simply coming to an agreement, hence producing one product. Well, in co competition, we could have done so many others. If you're producing one product, and as we know, the human mind fluctuates from every time. If I need more, so this year I'm in Mercedes, the next I'm in a maybe BMW, and then I have only one, meaning that I'll stop buying. I don't need Mercedes anymore. I'm done with it. So the, they have to go low for it to be bought. And with that, I think I've convinced you that competition is superior to cooperation. Thank you. <laughs> Team opposition, you have one minute to make your closing remark. Ladies and gents, I've once again arrived to entertain you. So, let's start off. Firstly, let me explain a bit what my third speaker meant by his answer, by his answer to our question. This side, the proposal stated a fallacy, and what we did was disprove that fallacy. Unfortunately, it is not our job to cram names. So, but if you truly do need the, if you truly do need that your answer, it's easily found on YouTube. You, you may as well go search it up. Now, we started this debate with a bang. May as well end it with one. By saying, A, you talk about solo verses. Wasn't she trained? You think she wrote the poem by herself? My guy, that's not, that's, not, that's not something you should be bringing up to me. Please, stay in your lane. Anyway, also, you people are diminishing the value of a boat. That's privilege mentality. A boat is something very hard to acquire. You can't just build a motor boat. If you can, good on you, but these people couldn't, but now they have a boat. Now, the reason, okay, another thing they said was, actually, uh, to end, my side has clearly given up, given forward the better points since we have talked about cooperation, uh, the, the benefits of cooperation and the negativity of competition. So you might as well give us a win now. We don't really need all this suspense and all that. Thank you. Alexia um, from St. Bakita, Chicago, girls. Uh, your definitions were okay. Um, you brought about a point on uh, exploitation. Uh, when people cooperate, some tend to get lazy. So that was a good point. Tanzania being one of the poorest countries in Africa, that's not right because I think uh, even in the GDP ratings, based on the rubric we are using uh, uh, or the rubric of GDP, Tanzania should be around, it should be in the top 15. Uh, RISPA, you are composed. Uh, you really did well for your team. Um, I'd ask why, how does cooperation bring disunity? You brought a point that cooperation brings disunity, but you did not validate that point. Caroline, uh, just a bit on master, uh, mastery of language, uh, richness, such kind of things, we, we look at them, uh, particularly being the finals. Nova Pioneer, Tattoo Boys, Conrad, your definitions also are good. Uh, really good points on the examples of cooperation in the industry, um, BMW, Louis Vuitton. Uh, Kevin, your point on bringing Africa back due to competition was not clear. What level of excellence are we looking at when you mention Africa is going back? What, what, how do we measure that? Michael, uh, the issue of uh, companies not doing well and getting into mergers. Uh, UAP, Jubilee, NIC and CBA. For instance, uh, CBA at the point of the merger in terms of numbers, because CBA domiciled the M-Pesa transactions for Mshwari and uh, um, again going to Fuliza, 
in terms of numbers, CBA was the largest bank in terms of people using it because it had the access of the mobile users. So they were not doing as bad as you made it look. Um, otherwise, all the best to the two teams. When competition becomes tough, competitors cooperate. That was a point by Nova. That is Michael. And of course, I had Rispa. Good use of rhyme as well. I think you said you are... What was the word? Was it you are short-sighted? So, I don't, I don't know. There, there was a very nice rhyme that came out. I have just forgotten it. But I love the use of language and rhyme that you had as well. And of course, first speaker as well, Alexia. Quite composed. And all through, we could, t we could tell you're very consistent in studying of your team. Thank you so much and all the best to the winning teams. We can't wait to hear the results as well.